Deviating God's people, ebb and flow of civilizations, serves as a gateway to understanding not merely historical events, but the intricate dance between cultural narratives, religious beliefs, and the sculpting of identities. Universal Virtual Cultural Exploration Channel, with meticulous dedication, unfurls these narratives, celebrating the kaleidoscope of human civilizations through the ages. The exploration is an ode to the resilience, diversity, and enduring spirit of cultures, testament to the universality of the human experience. The collapse of the Ghana Kingdom Inn prompted a group of displaced Sonic, known as the Mandes, to move south. Fierce fighters, the Mandes, conquered the Buona and Akwangu states during the century, leading war refugees to establish new settlement areas in the Gold Coast. Refugees from the Akwamu state went on to establish their own states, including Akwamu, Doma, and Zima, under the Ima, under the, the leadership of Anor Azaman. Similarly, those from the Buena state in Ina, the Ivory Coast settled in the Adansi district, Akrokir, and joined the Bono Kingdom, Bono, Manso, leading to the establishment of states such as Joban, Bekwe, Kumasi, and Kokofu. The Bono state, which played a crucial role in nurturing early Akan states, eventually succumbed to the might of the Asante, Ashanti, state in, amidst of these migrations and state formations, myths and legends emerged, such as Isa and Te, immortalizing the resilience and unity of the Akan-speaking people. The narrative of the Akan speaker's origin as suggested by Dr. Joseph Boki Donkwa, adds a layer of intrigue to a doctor. Their historical journey, a journey that spans from the Middle East to the Kingdom of Jado, shaping the diverse and rich cultural landscape of the Akan people. The Akan people of Ghana, almost all the important aspects of the history and culture of the Akan people of Ghana have been recorded by writers such as Retre, Bizia, Mirowitz Denkwa, Fortes, Opoku, the PA, Jaiki Bua, Sarpung, Nkansa, Kirmenting, and Anongya while a repetition of their work is unnecessary. This study requires a concise introduction of the Aiken people and their concepts of ethnicity and deduction of the Aiken people social identity. These concepts are scattered in many works on the works on the validity. Aiken people and has not yet been put together in writing as the vague social identity of the Akan people. Akan is the largest ethnic group in Ghana, making up of the population of Ghana. Ghana Statistical Service, they comprise the Bono, Asante, Adans, Trifo S. Infante Ekwapem, Akiamakwamu, Sohuiawawan, Zima and Ahanta, Boa, the name again, according to Dankwa, that means foremost genuine, from can first, and is the, the, the corrupted form of a cane or a kana, corrupted by the early Arabs of the Sudan and Ghana, and the early Europeans, who visited the coast of West Africa in Guinea. The best known representatives of the Aiken race are the Ashanti, Fanti, Akim, Akuapim, Asin, and several of the present Twi, speaking races of the Gold Coast, Dunkwa, Akans have a rich variety of dialects, which are related and shared in various degrees of vocabulary and other linguistic elements. These dialects 
which are mutually intelligible include Asante, Aquapen, Aquamu, Sante Akiam Agona Essen, Dinkira Twifo, Wasa Quahu Brananda Gagona, Bium, Ajikam, the use by some scholars of the name Aiken, to refer to the languages spoken by various groups, coincides more or less with the ethnographic use of the name Akan, Dolphin and De. Akan is spoken as a native language in, of the regions in this, Ghana, namely in the Ashanti, Eastern, Western, Central and the Brong, a half of regions, Ajikam. There is hardly any consensus on the origin of the Akan people. Some of the suggestions hold that the Akans may have come from some parts of the Sudan, the old Mali Empire, Burkina Faso, and even from Mesopotamia, where they had close connection with Israel. The inclination of majority of scholars is his scholars is Israel towards the southern part of the Saharan region, whether identified with the old Ghana or Mali empires. There is, however, greater agreement that it was in the southern part of West African forest region that the ethnogenesis of the various Akan groups took place. Akan ethnicity, Shumwe, observes that ethnic identity in Ghana, as elsewhere in Africa, is neither an unchanging relic of the distant African past, nor a recent colonial invention applied arbitrarily to a population. Ethnic identities such as Aiken, Fante and Esbu are manifestations of shared experiences among communities that evolved over time. With this changing nature of ethnic identity in mind, the interest of this article is centered on the views that are known to be operational in many Aiken thoughts, terms of who Aikens are. In some cases, such views could be traditional and not necessarily what all Aikens now hold. Adu Boahen, a professor of history in Dolphin N.T., lists the use of common calendar, common religious beliefs, naming ceremonies, marriage, matrilineal systems of inheritance, and monarchical system of government as cultural traits and institutions, identical with all Akins in addition to language. The seven matrilineal clans, called Abijua, and seven patrilineal groupings called Tan or Kra, are common features of the Akin people. Bua identifies inheritance through the maternal line as one peculiar practice of the Akin people. Bua, this is true whether in terms of property or stools to Keku. It has however been noted that though the Aquapems are Akins, they inherit from the patrilineal side. Eshen, the chieftaincy used to be a unique mark of the Akin communities, according to Dolphine. She intimates that on the coast, the gas and ewes were ruled by their local priests, and that chieftaincy among them was introduced for the convenience of governance by the British Dolphine Purse, Com, July, again, speaking people, firmly rooted in the Niger Bend, cultivated a vibrant cultural tapestry that evolved in tandem with their matrilineal social structure. The decline of the once mighty Ghana empire created a vacuum that the Aiken refugees opportunistically filled, consolidating their dominance over the indigenous groups, establishing a socio-economic foothold through activities like pottery, livestock rearing, and trade. Simultaneously, the Tebus, having made a brief sojourn on the Niger Bend, decided to journey even further southward to Gon Deja Gonja. 
The Gons Jia Group witnessed the success of the Ganja State and were inspired to forge their path giving birth to the Bono State in this marked the inception of a series of Akan settlements, including the Akwamu State, Nizema State, and Osu, Alada, each contributing to the intricate mosaic of Akan history. The Jai group, in collaboration with remnants of Guans and Tebas, chose a southwestern trajectory and found a new home in the Ivory Coast. Here, they founded the kingdoms of Bona and the Ivory Coast, Kumbu, Akwamu. The collapse of the Ghana kingdom in triggered the migration of displaced Sonink, the Mandes, who, known for their fierce prowess, conquered the Bona and Akwamu states in the century. The resultant wave of refugees settled in the Gold Coast. Establishing states such as Akwamu Doma and Zima, the refugees from the Akwamu state, resilient and determined, went on to carve out their territories with Akwamu, Doma, and Zima, emerging as distinct entities. Similarly, those from the Buona state in the Ivory Coast settled in the Adansi district, Akropierre and it integrated into the Bono Kingdom, Bono, Manso, ultimately founding states like Joban, Bekwe Kumasi, and Kokofu. The eventual defeat of the nurturing Bono state in by the Asante, Ashanti, state marked a significant turning point in the historical trajectory. The Akin-speaking people in the midst of these migrations and state formations, myths and legends like Isa, Ntia rose, immortalizing the indomitable spirit and unity of the Akan speaking people, Dr. Joseph Boki Danqua, intriguing proposition regarding the Middle Eastern origin and the gradual southwestern journey to the kingdom of Dado adds an additional layer of complexity to the historical narrative, hinting at a broader and more interconnected Aiken heritage. This journey spanning continents and centuries is an integral part of the Aiken people's identity, influencing the diverse and dynamic cultural landscape they celebrate today. B. Thank you for watching up. To this point, watch out for the next video in our series. Once again, you are welcome to the ultimate voyage through the fabric of human existence. Culture scarps trekking. Join us as we take you on an in an exciting journey through time, revealing the secrets of the past, present, and even the mysterious passageways of prehistoric times. We go across the cosmos and explore the core of human history, culture, and existence. I'm ecstatic to be your guide. Feed, feed.